the start of the fight, round one. The fighters move into the center of the ring. The challenger opens fire first. The pattern of the fight was established early. Rademacher, the amateur, seemed to confuse Patterson in the beginning. He fights in the classic pattern, boxes straight up with a left lead, which he used to good advantage, always keeping his right hand cocked, ready to throw. He fainted well, and that surprised the champion. Unlike many amateurs, he was not right hand crazy and was a fine boxer. His fainting appeared to baffle Patterson for the first few rounds. Notice how the challenger scores with left leads. Rademacher scores with a hard right to the body. Patterson fighting in a crouch, bobbing and weaving, trying to get in close. Notice how the ex-amateur keeps Patterson off with that long left. Both fighters in wonderful condition. Rademacher from the West, Patterson, of course, from Yonkers, New York. Both former Olympic champions fighting for the glory of the professional and the amateur. Rademacher scoring well here in the early rounds. Patterson in magnificent shape as always, battling furiously to get back into the lead. This was the greatest promotion in the history of the Northwest and created more lineage and excitement than any sporting event that part of the country ever held. The round ends, Rademacher the winner on Lachlan's card, 10 to 9. There's the gong in round two. Rademacher has looked anything but an amateur. This round has started out like the first. Both fighters leading and fainting. The 1956 Olympic champion not fooled by his opponent as yet. Cracks Patterson with a sharp right and another. The champ is down. Now let's watch the knockdown in slow motion. Watch the timekeeper calling off the seconds. Patterson is up at three. Rademacher keeps after the champ, but can't get in that telling punch. Rademacher earned 10 to 5 margins at Lachlan. Round 5. After four great rounds, neither fighter has a mark on him. And at this point, referee Lachlan's scorecard has Rademacher ahead by a very slim margin. Rademacher lands sharp right to the body. Another and the third right. Patterson smashes a right to the jaw. Rademacher is down. The referee counts as we move for close up to a long shot. It's a nine count.
Anderson moves in and floors him again with a right to the head. The long shot shows referee Lachlan counting. He's up at nine. The challenger is obviously in trouble. Shows great courage. into the ropes. He bounces off and is floored with a right. Down for the fourth time in the fight. Again, he's up at nine. Patterson goes after him. An overhand right to the neck. Sends Pete to the canvas again. Patterson climbs over him to neutral corner. Another count of nine. Rademacher still keeps swinging. sends him to one knee, but he's up. Lachlan steps in as the round ends. Round six. Beffrey Lachlan had asked Rademacher if he was okay. Pete said yes. The challenger is very careful, moving slowly, but still unmarked. Patterson very methodically bides his time, waits for the opening. Patterson lands a left to the mouth. The weary Rademacher down again from a right to the head. Watch the timekeepers count at the bottom of the screen. Again, Pete takes the nine allowed. Weary and beaten, the challenger keeps trying. The challenger's gloves must be mighty heavy right now. No one expected the fight to last this long. Patterson sends Pete down again. A sharp left and then a right. Referee Lockburn is counting over him for the seventh time. This time, it's the knockout. Patterson, still the champion.